Did you see the Game of Thrones and Oreos? I did. Yeah. She, uh, the wife showed me that. We got to pick some up. Yeah. You, but you, I'm, go- I'm gonna, but they're yeah. not any special flavor. Like, hey, assholes, <laughs> make them spearmint. Like, <laughs> I, you, yeah, you got peppermint for Christmas. I get that. That's a different flavor. Make spearmint. That's still going to be delicious. And you can still say winter is coming. Yeah. And I have your bold ass original Oreos. Not extra stuffing or anything. <laughs> The super mega stuffed. The, yeah. Yeah. Like dragon touch. Like just, <laughs> you, you couldn't put some red food coloring in. You mm-hmm. dicked. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That, that would have been, that would have been a nice touch. But yeah. literally anything. This is the <laughs> minimum effort. <laughs> like, oh, the packaging looks like Game of Thrones. Great. I'm so going to buy it, but I'm not going to be happy about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm generally, I'm not happy. When I'm when I'm buying or eating Oreos, I mean, in the process, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, but but afterwards, not so much. Uh, Oreos, they don't agree with me. So, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, they're very potent. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But before we get into more details that probably nobody wants to know, let's get into it. Mm-mm-mm. What is up? We are the Future Monkeys. This is 108, I think. Yes, yes, it's 108. And I'm Lost, and I'm here. I'm here with this guy. This guy over here. Hey, it's this guy. Yeah, it's this the beardy guy. guy. This guy. This guy over here. Okay. We, we're, we... we're trying to hold a New Jersey cast this week. <laughs> <laughs> what episode is it? Forget about yeah, it. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> I, I like I like when I when I take the time to spell out forget about it the way uh you know <laughs> the way you would say it. Yeah, it's it's hard to do. Yeah, yeah it's F U H G E T T. You always forget the H. Yeah, you know you can't. That's that's. <gasps> <laughs> you need to have a fuck it. You can't be like forget about it. Like what do you want? Fug? Fug? No, no, no. Fug. Yeah, the exasperating breath of someone who's just been stabbed by their friend named Polly. Forget about it. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> that's what you need. Yeah, that's what you need. All right. Happy, happy Pokemon Day, everybody. I wrote it down, so I won't forget it. And uh, and it was pretty crazy. I mean, I don't, you, you have Let's Go. Mm-hmm. And, and you play it with your kid, right? That's that's your thing. I have played you... it once with the kid for Jesus. forty minutes. Jesus Christ! So you, you <laughs> haven't you haven't touched it since? No, no. I, I I'm going think. to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh-huh. In time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever. Moving on. Next. Next lie from Beardy. Uh. What what's going on? What 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 have you been doing besides not playing Pokemon today on Pokemon Day? Oh boy, uh, just Anthem. Yeah, played a little bit of Trials today. Ah, uh, did you buy it or is it? I the, bought it. Oh, uh, where'd you buy it? Xbox. Cool. I was I was all in for Switch. I thought that was gonna be great, <laughs> but then I saw Fred's post. Well, that, and I was that, like, that was kind of that was that was kind of me. My yeah, that's me. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, that it, it it killed me. Like I was I was so excited for it on the Switch, very excited, and and yeah, I was I put in this court. I was talking with uh with Fred in there, and and uh, who else was it? There was a there was a nice little conversation going on around it. Yeah, because yeah. it's just unforgivable. So yeah. basically, what Lois and I were talking about. Is the Switch version of Trials looks and apparently plays like trash. <laughs> like it has like noticeably lower Metacritic score. 
Is it really? Uh, I, I yeah, haven't it, looked up any any scores like ever since. I mean, it's one of those games that I know I'm gonna pick up eventually on Xbox or PS4. But uh, but I haven't been looking up any. I I looked up one review, uh, video review, and they excluded the Switch version. So yeah, because like it's just it's not the same thing. And if any game is going to have parity in this modern era, that's gonna be Trials. Like it <laughs> it should be that intensive. And that's the craziest thing. When I was downloading it today, Trials Rising. Let, let, let's guess. Let's play a guessing game. How many gigs do you think Trials <laughs> Rising is? It's got to be like less than 10. Oh, oh no, sir. 22. 22. Jeez. 22 gigs. Like, if you think, so just for, you know, the, I'm sure if you're listening to this, you know, but like, most people play games. Uh, your, your standard PS2 game was in the realm <laughs> of like four or five gigs. <laughs> Trials Rising, essentially a side scroller, twenty two <laughs> flipping gigs. Why? There, there's Why you so many gigs. There's a lot of stuff going on. Have you seen those backgrounds? Have you seen the the freaking <laughs> levels you're doing? <laughs> that's it. Like just for background yeah. distractions. Mm, that's what it is. Crazy. So not- one thing I, I do have to mention, though, hmm. uh, anytime I mention Trials, I have to bring this up hmm. because it, it ties in well. It the first time I played the original Trials for 360 was when I reached out to a little podcast known as Video Game Purists. Ah. And I'm not sure if you, if you remember that one. I do that remember was, that uh, one. Yeah. OG Fred Rojas mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and F.A. And so that was from 2009 because I had just moved out uh, into the apartment with Mrs. McWhiskey I had a commute that was formerly like an hour and a half. Like it took me an hour and a half both ways. So I listened to a lot of podcasts and mm-hmm. Fred's got in the, into the shuffle. And so one of the things I made sure I did, like once I moved out and I got the own, my own place is I, I wrote him a, uh, a letter via email and not handwritten, not a psychopath. I was like, Hey, thanks for the entertainment. I really appreciate it. I'm sure you get this kind of thing all the time. And because I didn't know how podcasts work at that point. It was, mm-hmm. you know, 2009, or early fledgling days of podcasting. You'd been around for a bit, but, you know, I thought like you had to have a network and had to have some sort of support. I didn't <laughs> realize you could do it on your own. <laughs> and so like, I'm like, oh, thanks so much. And so he and Hefe, unbeknownst me, had this running joke between themselves like hey first time we get our first fan we're gonna send them a free game so he gave me <laughs> the choice of what game i wanted for free uh i was in, like the xbox live whatever uh and i was like oh i'll do trials and i end up loving the game yep that ties it all back in that's cool that you were you were fred's first uh first fan i guess i mean that made it official yeah. they got you they bought you a game so so yeah, that's real cool. That that, that so, goes real deep, real in the roots there. Yeah, first one to reach out and say, "Hey, yeah. thanks, bud. You do good stuff." <laughs> uh, yeah. For I my my history with trials. Uh, I remember I I bought trials. Uh, it was by by default because it was the only game I could play at the time. Uh, it was it was it was a godsend basically because. Because you know that was when I had, I had my little uh, run in with that lizard. Remember, remember the lizard? <laughs> it was it was about like three feet long. It was really like a komodo dragon more than a lizard. Yeah, and and it was in the house. You know, for for those of you that don't know, that don't know the story, uh, it was it was very uh, very large, uh, man eating reptile that was in the house and the wife was very like, scared think, yeah d- just think of like the dragon from game of thrones yeah and then go like three sizes bigger yeah yeah i mean that's rough roughly roughly the size but uh the the wife was terrified she was you know s- screaming for her life and she was pregnant with uh with our first firstborn or the first kid right so i i had to protect her 
There was not, nothing else I could do. And, <laughs> and oh, this- <laughs> save me and the baby yeah. from this man eating lizard. <laughs> I'm making barbecue. <laughs> oh, do you hear me? <laughs> Someone yeah, said that in the ambiance. <laughs> and the lizard I'm, was all. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking too loud. She's texting me that I'm full of shit. Listen, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's all true. Okay. It was. I just imagine like a Popeye olive oil, like <laughs> arms up and like. <laughs> Just a bunch of squiggle lines. Like, oh, the lizard. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> so, all right. So, yeah, I was, I was, uh, it was midnight and, and half the house is destroyed. And, and I'm trying to figure out what to do because we need to get sleep. So, I was trying everything to try and catch it and release it, but it wasn't working. And I figured it, I have to kill it. So it has to die because the wife needs to sleep. She's not going to sleep with it in her, in the house. So I grabbed the broom that we had and it was like a metal broom, like one of those, you know, uh, it's not a plastic broom. It's like a metalish kind of broom. It was hollow, you know, you know, like a metal broom, like, you know, one of those metal brooms. (laughs) You know, like a broom made out of metal. Yeah, it was. Yeah. it was like a like a tin kind of metal. You know, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know I was talking to an alchemist. Yeah. <laughs> it was coated in plastic, and you know, whatever. <laughs> so, so, uh, so you know, it has like a little plastic cap on the top. You know, and this it didn't. The plastic cap was gone. So the metal rim was exposed on the top and that's where I grabbed it. So when I grabbed it and, and I was, you know, I went to go, I did the, the Greek warrior spear lunge (laughs) against the wall (laughs) to, to the (laughs) lizard. (laughs) I, I hit it and I got it. I made contact. The lizard goes running away without a tail. I got the tail off. Right. Because it's so massive. It's so big that, you know, this metal broom that I had could only do so much damage with all my force to it. But, but it, it did enough damage to me because where I was holding it, it basically like ripped off half of my thumb. So, so I didn't notice until I saw the blood on the floor. And I thought, okay, he's wounded. I got him, but no, it was my blood. <laughs> it was my blood, and I was Just bleeding. No shirt, boxers, <laughs> sandals, and socks. Chasing after a lizard. Just this is Florida. <laughs> Lunging slow mo, yeah. jumping in the air, high frame camera. <laughs> I feed frame camera just <laughs> slow mo <laughs> socks flapping in the wind. <laughs> Jesus, what a sight. Yep. And and then, you know, it's like it wasn't no cut either. Like my skin no, was the, hanging like, off. Yeah. The the meat was it was just it was bad. Uh, and <laughs> And I, like I told the wife, I was like, we're going to a hospital. And you know, she's a nurse. I told you she's a nurse. (laughs) She's always downplaying whatever I got. Like, no, you're fine. You're fine. I was like, no, we're going to a hospital before she even saw it, you know? And then she saw it. She was like, yeah, we got to go to a hospital. (laughs) (laughs) And, And like, I'm in the car telling her to run all the red lights, trying to put water on my face so I don't pass out in the car. And, uh, it was, it was one of those injuries that everybody in the ER, like all the nurses and stuff, they take turns coming in to see because they want to see how bad it is, you know? But, uh, but yeah, I had 11 stitches on my, on my thumb and I couldn't move it for a while. So to bring this all the way back around, uh, trials had just come out and, and I was looking for a game to play 
And that's, that's what I picked. I was like, okay, I can play this because it's only using the triggers, the triggers and the, uh, the left joystick. I didn't have to use my, my right thumb. That was all messed up. So, so I bought it and I played the crap out of it and I freaking, I fell in love with, with what it did. I never, never ever was able to get past the, uh, the hard levels. I think I made it barely like, you know, pulling my dead body along, uh, the medium <laughs> levels, uh-huh. but, but the hard ones I never was able to beat, but I still had a blast playing the the game. <clears throat> yeah, normally I, I get through the hard set, but like usually there's like a like a super difficult in that, and I'm like, okay, that's not fun anymore. Yeah, <laughs> just constantly like reset, reset, yeah, reset, reset, just <laughs> over and over again. And it's something interesting. I don't know if if it's been in prior iterations or not. This time they added is like a trial school. Mm-hmm. Where they teach you how to do like just the basics of leaning and the basics uh, of yeah. accelerating. And it just, I was cracking up because, you know, I, you know, that's to my own horn. I'm pretty decent at these games. I've heard a lot of people talk about like how much trouble they have with them. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good until we get into like the super duper difficult levels. Mm-hmm. Either that or I'm just more resilient and I'm willing to deal with more <laughs> bullshit. But like, I was cracking up thinking of how they still find ways to mess with you, <laughs> even if you've been playing this for years at this point. Mm. Like, they just had like a couple of the levels. The first ones I just played are accelerating and leaning. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's one straight shot of just like a curvy, wavy line that you have to ride. And I was still crashing and flipping over. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you still found a way to mess with me, Trials. Good good <laughs> on you. Like, like I don't find it insulting because, like, the thing about Trials is that the rules are always fair. Like, they have the rules and they're clearly defined. You just need to play by them. Mm-hmm. If you play by the rules... You'll do fine. If you don't play by the rules, guess what? You're flipping upside down looking like a jackass. <laughs> and it's so, so easy. I, so easy to flip around to. Like you're doing it and it's like, oh whoop, yeah. Whoop, whoop, <laughs> you're done. So, and, and granted, this is probably 15 minutes in. So, like, I just booted up. I just got it downloaded right before we started. Mm-hmm. So, I was trying to get some of that in. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was really, really, really looking forward to the Switch version. And, uh, and I know if if, uh, if anybody is curious uh, in the Discord for Future Monkeys, if you ever get in there, uh, somewhere in the the gaming hole, which is our, <laughs> our gaming channel, uh, I I posted the like you know the side by I played the beta. I I downloaded the beta for for both the Switch and for the xbox and the switch version was just so so oh man uh it's very very cloudy uh the the first level the first thing you're doing very full of fog like to the point where you cannot see anything in the background and and it's very uh very slow moving uh not it's clunky is a good word, I think. Uh, it's very clunky feeling. And when you play it on the Xbox, it's super smooth. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you see the nice clear backgrounds. Everything is, you know, looking all nice and pretty. And it's like, that's what you want from trials. That's what I come to expect, you know, like nice, crazy backgrounds that you're going through and everything. And, and I, I'm afraid you're not going to get down the switch, you know, judging by that first thing. I don't know. Maybe that was the beta. Maybe they improve it in the the retail, you know, but I still haven't heard anything about it. But when I go to buy it, I'll probably do Xbox too. Cause you know, I'd like to do the, the leaderboard thing and be people's times and scores and everything. So, so, uh, so yeah, that, that'll, that'll come pretty soon in the future. Uh, yeah. For, and for I me. would like to apologize. Uh, you know, it, Granted, Los had his passive aggressive comment saying, Oh, that was me, but yeah. Uh that was Los who <laughs> posted that with, apparently. With Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, not not Fred. I thought it was Fred. <laughs> no, Fred. Fred was in the conversation. We were, we were yeah, so he was in the mix. So, yeah. you know, I I just figured. I See, we you know what I think. Take it that is. as a compliment. You did such a good job. That, of yes. Doing compare contrast. <laughs> I thought it was a Fred Rojas thing. Yeah, that that's what I was about to say. I was about to say that, you know, it sounded like Fred uh, complaining about the visuals of a game, you know, because cause Fred, he, he likes to analyze stuff. And Trees, yeah, that, that, that's Trees always calls it out. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I felt like Fred when I was saying it, when I was bringing it up. I was like, <laughs> huh, this is what it feels like. All right. I uh, have the power. I'll put these pants on for a little bit. Right, yeah, so. no, you're not putting any pants on ever. <laughs> let's, let's 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 not pretend. Oh man, last time I put pants on. Let me think. All right, no, <laughs> that's different conversation. Right now, uh, I think maybe maybe we should do voicemails. Uh, yeah, because we got like nine of them. Ooh, boy. <laughs> so, so yeah. Let's let's see what's going. I like I like how we're not doing question of the week anymore, and uh, and we're still getting a crap load of voicemails. It's like wow, people it's care. Good. People care. I don't. I don't yeah. know. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Bruh, hello. First of all, thank you for changing the voicemail greeting. It's very 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 quiet. Were you whispering in the basement that belongs to Chase? Kind of what I'm wondering. <laughs> also, uh, another thing, uh, I can't believe everybody is missing the opportunity to name Chase's basement the Chasement. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm literally standing here at work. There's robots going around singing their songs as they go around. You may have heard it in the background. It's kind of gone around the corner now. And uh, I came up with the idea of naming it the Chasement. And... Um, uh, yeah, that's basically the main purpose of my call. Um, <laughs> I have an AirPod in, and I'm recording this on it. There are probably people looking at me, walking up and down an aisle with my hands on my hips, talking to nobody around me at all. But anyways, uh, <laughs> welcome back to Show Scary. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I, I think that needs no conversation from us. That that is perfect as is. That that's what I want from voicemails. So yeah, you know, just just random random this, stuff. Let, but the only thing we're gonna give it, we're gonna let it simmer for a second. <laughs> All right, so let let's be quiet. Well, you know and what? There it is. We, yeah. We, we can Ooh. let it let it simmer because he calls back. Let's let's see what else. What, what other what other uh Who's gonna name next? The yeah, attic. I, I really hope Chase picks up on that because that's that's genius, Chase man. But it's it's all right. I, I I'm kind of sad that I didn't think of it. <laughs> it's right there. Like why <laughs> why yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right, let's see let's see what else Joe says. Oh man, I'm calling again because I got the free name thing because of the AOL. <laughs> Dog, myself and my best friend Steam have uh, over 120 A8 uh, AIM instant messenger screen names between the two of us, and usually they were tied together. So I was a robot by me again. Usually they were tied together. Like we used to go to this parking garage all the time. So I had the screen name Blue Floor Eight, and he had Orange Floor Nine. Uh, and then there was like 10 foot McEnroe named after that awesome scene in the Adam Sandler movie, Mr. Deed, where John McEnroe jumped straight up over a car that was going to run him over, uh, among many others. Uh, also meeting your significant other on the internet. Uh, I met my wife randomly one night at this like karaoke bar. And uh, I did not have any idea that I met her. She messaged me the next day saying, hey, you don't have to be a total asshole when you uh, meet people you don't know. I said, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> she said, you're the only guy I know that wears his own face on his t-shirt. <laughs> yes, I know who you are. You're an asshole. 
So uh, I was like, okay, you got me there. What happened? And she apparently asked my friend for a lighter. And I said, why don't you get your own? If you're going to smoke, you should carry your own lighter. Oh, man. And uh, then I apologized. And we ended up uh, having a date. <laughs> Romance. Mm. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Again, that, that's another Let It Simmer one. Yeah, yeah, These right? are self-contained, just nuggets <laughs> of goodness. Like, all right, that that's like, I don't know, that's more, that's more chance, I think, than, than what I do with my wife. I mean, that's, that's like randomly meeting in the bar and then like getting that message like out of nowhere like she she tracked him down or she saw him and recognized you know it's freaking weird the way life works when you think about it sometimes yeah and not to mention that story had everything it do you understand in that phone call we had robots <laughs> and romance <laughs> Do you understand that, Los? <laughs> like that? The robots. We've... The robots throw me off. Like, I don't know. He's like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm sure I'm picturing what everybody else is picturing. So I don't know. I don't know what uh, what Joe is actually doing over there. I know he works. Well, you're picturing uh, Rose from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something very similar. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> Rose, it's, it's not Futurama. It's Rosie it. from uh from Jetsons. Ro- yeah, Rosie yeah. from the Jetsons. Like, okay, Mr. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. State. I got to clean underneath here. <laughs> Go on with your old man story talking to those two nerds on the <laughs> on the internet. Okay, Miss Mr. State, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, man. Picture. We we better get a call back from Joe saying how accurate that is. It's a job. Oh, well, just make sure Mr. Sprockets isn't watching. <laughs> <There. Jets! laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Josie. Thank you. Yeah, that was for, awesome. For for the uh peek into your life with your with your robots that you work with. And uh and that's awesome to hear about how, how you met your wife. It's, it's <laughs> robots good to hear. and romance, the yeah. Joe State story. There you go. There there's I think that's a show title right there. <laughs> all right so so let's uh let's get on and see who is next get this uh get this tree chopped down a voicemail the voicemail tree hey future monkeys crew this is lucas ham swisher i am a newer listener but a long time socks and sandals aficionado with my <laughs> brother in such things lost <laughs> And also a fan of Beardy, because he's got a beard and I do too. Uh, but I'm calling in because I have finished my first game for the Pile of Shame Extravaganza 2019. Uh, I beat the game Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends. I also wrote a review, which Lost may or may not be posting on the blog, depending on how good, terrible, or awful it was. Uh, but to give you also an audio format of a uh, review of a said ga- of said game. Uh, I enjoyed it enough. I played the campaign about 20 times to beat it with 20 different characters. Each playthrough ranged <laughs> from 25 to 40 minutes, depending on how, uh, how weak the character was. Uh, but I played through pretty much everything in the single player campaign. It does have an online component. It, but the community for that is pretty much dead. You will not be able to randomly find people only uh, boosting with people online will you be able to do it. But I, I partly played it because of my backlog commitment. I'm also a trophy hunter, which gave a fair amount of trophies. Uh, it's a Smash Brothers ripoff, and it's not really ashamed about it. Uh, it's a fun little game. I played it with my kids, played it by myself. It got a little frustrating sometimes. Uh, but I gave it, spoilers for my written review, three out of five bowls of noodles. So I would say that's average. <laughs> Not a bad game. Wouldn't spend more than five bucks on it. But if you had PS Plus in December and paid attention, it was free then. So give it a whirl. If you want to play online with me sometime, let me know. I'll probably keep it a little bit longer. Uh, that's all I got for today. Best of luck to everyone 
in the pile of shame extravaganza, and God bless y'all. Ciao. Yeah, if you want to have a game night for uh, Kung Fu Panda, that sounds like a blast. That sounds like something to to set aside a night that for. Sounds, I, uh, honestly, that sounds kind of wild. <clears throat> like that, you- that could be like the sleeper hit. Like <laughs> you get the right people in the right frame of mind. Yeah, you're yeah. playing Kung Fu Panda. That could be fun. Uh, well, no lie, I I did pick it up for when it was on PlayStation Plus, and I did play it with my kids when uh when i had it when i had it downloaded and it was all right it was it wasn't terrible it was a pretty fun fighter uh when you're playing with with other people so so my kids had fun playing it and i have fun playing playing it with them but uh but you know as we see lucas is a freaking he's he's a monster he's going at it like crazy with the with the pile of shame so he's, uh, we'll, we'll get into that later, but he is wrecking it right now. And, and, uh, welcome to him. Welcome to the community. And thank you for all the, the reviews. We'll get into that later in a bit too. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for the, for the voicemail review too. Much appreciated. Before I forget, I do want to say, uh, it might not be the most recent Delvin Cox, but one of the more recent Delvin Cox episodes, with one where he's doing that series, yep. uh, Lucas is on and yes. uh, really gives you a, a lot of good insight into like him as a person, worldview. <clears throat> uh, very interesting, uh, you know, mm. uh, not to spoil anything, but <laughs> he's a, a pastor living in Brazil. So basically an expatriate in Brazil. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Like that's that's the <laughs> point of view of someone you get to hear very often. Yep. And uh, I I must say I started listening to the Good Morning Guys. His that is his podcast where uh, where he he hosts there, and it is a very entertaining podcast. I must say he 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 has he has a good voice and good stories, and they they get uh, they get into funny stuff over there and it's it's a good listen so you know if anybody's looking for for a new sub to to get into a new podcast to listen to they they do good over there so we'll we'll be uh throwing it up in the show notes i'm sure i'll make a note for myself right now and and yeah it's it's a it's a good show go check it out and see what's going on with uh with lucas ham he is He's uh like I said, on the top of the leaderboard for Paul Shame. Crushing it. Yep. Him and his hundred and twenty something platinum trophies. <laughs> I thought I was big and bad with my eleven, but nope. Alright. So writing my note to myself and I did that. I don't have to forget. No, I could forget it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking to myself. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> next to voice to mail. Yes, yes, yes. I have to find it because I lost it. All right, we did that one. We did that one. And no, nope. right, okay, we did that one. All right, here's another one. Here's the next one. I found it. Ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. Hey, what's up? Hello? This is Trees. Just still think. This is normal work. <laughs> Just go to a collective agency or something now. <laughs> what's going on? Anyways, long time no talk, guys. Sitting in my car, waiting to pick up my stepdaughter at school. I'm in the, I'm in the line. You know when you get in the line in the car? <laughs> and she's in some after school program. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing in there, quite frankly. Something that I'm sure in the future I'm going to have to go and get through. Some horrible <laughs> things I need to be proud. But anyways, I'm listening to your show while I'm waiting here. It's about an hour in, and I finally was like, what the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> I have to call. One, Beardy. Hi. Talking about your vasectomy. I had one of those done myself. It was horrible. But honestly, man, listen. Don't be ashamed. Man up. Just bring that cup right in there. You spin it on the counter and you go, and you go there you go, sweetheart. There it is. <laughs> Close. Uh, you, 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 
talking about this story about you passing out and listening to it, you never really passed out. It sounds like you got a little woozy and had to sit down on the cold floor. You know? So, I don't know. Drink some water. You know? But then the biggest, the biggest complaint right now is uh, I've been listening to 20 minutes about how to make popcorn. How to make water. First of all, uh, you know they have microwave popcorn. Three minutes. Shit's done. You know? I don't know what all this fond <clears throat> memory stuff of is, uh, like, cooking it in the pan. I'm from the 70s. I grew up in the 70s. And we had to do it that way. You know what we did? We stood around the counter as my dad yelled at us because we just talked to him like, Is it done yet? Is it done yet? <laughs> Kids don't give a shit. Just microwave that. You're not making memories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, that's about it, really. That's as far as I go on the show. Who knows what the rest of the show holds for me? <laughs> I don't know, I just want to call and say hello. It's been a long time. Love the show. Love it. Love you guys. Right. Just spill it out. Look at him. It's the future. The future right here. This fucking guy, he won't pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Cast is on the right guy. Nope. Just going to sit in and block everything. All right, I got to go. Uh, I, don't, I will talk to you guys later, I'm sure. All right. Peace. Oh, damn it. My face hurts. <laughs> I just like hearing from trees. It's like, hey, well, well, just be a man. Just, mm -hmm. I, 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 everything, just, just man up. Mm -hmm. It's not like insulting. It's just matter of fact, like, yeah, just man up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he makes you, he makes you think, you know, it's Good like, point. it's like I had that rough time. In the, in the bathroom that time. And, and it's like, yeah, you know what? I didn't pass out. I guess I'm just being a big bitch right now. Just complaining about it. And I would say yeah. though, the popcorn, <laughs> like, oh, 20 minutes on more on popcorn. <laughs> I'm like, popcorn in the bag is trash. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. It says it's not good. <laughs> it does not taste good. I was like, oh, why don't you microwave your raw chicken? Like, yeah, you could do that. You could eat that. <laughs> but it's going to taste like shit. Mm. That, that, that's how microwave popcorn is. Unless, unless you do the, uh, the paper bag method. That's good. That's fine. What, what, what is the paper bag method? You take a little bit of oil, mm -hmm. put it in a brown paper bag, mm -hmm. you fold it up, and then microwave it as if it is the microwave popcorn. Uh, Go on for like three minutes, listen for the pops to get, and then, you know, you get to toss into a bowl mm -hmm. or you can eat it right out of the bag. Ah, you see, I never did that. I never, I never oh. made it like that before. Turns out fine. <clears throat> yeah. I, I mean, I would imagine that would be better than, than the, uh, like pop secret. The, and, right. And all that. Yeah. It, so if you're looking for like, Good, like the, the Home Depot, good, better, best. It's like that. That's <laughs> the better. <laughs> I had a great. Like, uh, all popcorn's good. Yeah, but that is the the better version. Mm -hmm. Yeah the the stove top. Like once I started making it on the stove top, that the, there's no going back to to microwave. There's no. <clears throat> there's like we we did it. We bought a box of a uh, microwave popcorn. Uh, I, I forgot what for, I think it was, oh, I've was, tried, I tried to go back. You yeah, can't. exactly. Cause it's more convenient. It's more easy. It's like, okay, the kids want popcorn. Let me just throw it in there and make it, you know? And, and it's like, man, I just, I, it's so, so different. It's so, it's not, it's not as fresh. It's not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not good. It's not as good. And, and you know, you don't, you don't add that extra ingredient of love. Yeah. <laughs> It's in there. <laughs> Anywho, before you, we got five minutes of popcorn on this one. Yeah. So the 20 from last time. So go ahead. Well, uh, I, I know next. Trees likes it so much. So, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to give them more. <laughs> give the people what they want. Exactly. More hot popcorn talk. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I, I'm with him on the, the picking up the kid that, that car rider line. Oh, man. Oh, dude. You, you could get mad at some people there. They, they just sit there. Not moving or trying. My, I hate it. I hate it when I'm in the line, right? I'm waiting in line 
been there for like 15 minutes, somebody comes out of the building and they get in the car that's right next to you and they're trying to leave. And like they have the freaking nerve to come out of their car, knock on your window and be like, excuse me, can you back up so I could get out of here? Like, no, I'm going to be moving in like two minutes, you know, because uh, they, they got their kid. They went inside to get their kid. They came out, got in the car mm-hmm. and they're trying to leave quick. They're trying to, trying to make it out before everybody else know. I got to go get the kid. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so while Los does that, I'll mention that I have had Don't Stop Me Now from Queen stuck in my head for a week and a half. And not the whole song. Oh, no. Not the whole song. Just the Don't Stop Me Now. I'm having a good time. Don't stop me now. Yes, I'm having a good time. That's and just on repeat. It's the first thing I hear when I wake up, not because I've played the song, but because it is in my head. And so like, okay, I need to go back to sleep. I'll roll over and I'll put the covers over the head. And then as I drift off to sleep, it's just don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. Don't stop me. Yes, I'm having a good time over and over and over and over and over again and which is weird because i had it stuck in my head before i saw bohemian rhapsody which i saw that uh not a good movie very just paint by numbers movie that bohemian rhapsody it's like they're it's basically if you want to watch uh a guy lip sync for 45 minutes for out of an hour and a half experience, yeah, go watch Bohemian Rhapsody. You'll get it. Uh, and he, here's the biggest thing, and this is spoiler alert. Uh, Mike Myers is in the movie, which is already kind of like a wink and a nod. Like, okay, Mike Myers, you know, Wayne from Wayne's World, where they had that infamous scene, which is like ingratiated into pop culture, where he is head banging to Bohemian Rhapsody. And that's supposed to be a wink and a nod in of itself. However, this scene is like five minutes long and it's Mike Myers telling Freddie Mercury how this song isn't going to work and how no one is going to bang their head with their friends in a car to this song. Oh my God. We get it. I understand. It's Freddie Mercury. And now Los is texting me. Wife on a call and kid awake. Okay. So he's telling me I'll just continue to filibuster about things beardy and things I don't enjoy about Bohemian Rhapsody. So uh, here's one thing I can do. I can tell you I'm going to text Los. He says, going to be a minute. Wife on a call and kid awake. So what I should say is, why not ask the kid to take the call? Two birds, one stone, and send. We'll see what Los has to say about that. Don't stop me now, I'm having a good time. Don't stop me now. Uh, that wasn't great. Not a good movie. It, it, it's an entertaining movie. It, it's like uh, that Beatles movie that came out a couple years ago. Worst case scenario, you get to listen to Queen for a bit. Uh, best case, it, it's basically as if you took an exaggerated and a lengthened music video and he added on like 45 minutes to the end. It, it's just insane. Like there's so much that leads up to it and so much winking and nodding. It's like the same reason why I stopped watching Mad Men is the moment they came on and they had a bunch of Dunkin' Donuts in there and they're eating it. Like, what'd you say? These donuts are cold again. 
Dunkin' Donuts? Well, I think they're going places. And we're all just supposed to be like, oh, that's the thing. He said the thing. Yeah, they are going places. They're everywhere now. They're very delicious. I love those. I know that, the brand. And that's what they're doing with Bohemian Rhapsody. Like, oh, that's when he wrote the song. Or like, oh, that's Mike Myers. He's from the movie. They were in the thing with the thing. They're just expecting that. And they're supposed to fawn all over it. I, I, I get it. A, a wink and a nod. Does having Mike Myers in the movie would be wink enough? It's like the episode of The Simpsons. Like, Wiggum is trying to bribe, get Homer to give him a bribe. He's like, listen very carefully. I'm waiting for Mr. Bribe. Wink, wink. And they're like, okay, listen to me as I stomp on your foot. I'm looking for Mr. Bribe. Have you seen him? Stomp, stomp, wink. His name's Bart. Like, that is the level of nodding and winking that they are trying to get away with in an Oscar award winning movie. And then also, speaking of the Oscars, uh, who chooses the clips that they show before the performances? A again, uh, for Bohemian Rhapsody, he does a fine job acting. You know, there's, there is a reason why he won Best Actor. Uh, but the clip they choose is him lip syncing. So before they they're, they show him lip syncing, and that's supposed to be an example of why he won Best Actor. Mm, I don't think that works. Let's see. What's this low fella got to say? Ah, ha, 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 it's a school night, you monster. Oh, boy. Doesn't mean the kid can't take a call. Don't stop me now, because I'm having a good time. Don't stop me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <sighs> See? Oh, the Oscars... I could talk about the Oscars more, or not, or less. Let's see what else we have in the agenda for today. I can knock out. Ah, nothing. Eh, this is going to be a very loose forward episode. I don't got a lot going on, but I want to hear Los's opinion on several items. But I can't get his opinion if he's not here. <sighs> Discord channel cleanup. Lots of games coming out that would benefit from channels like Anthem and Division 2. Old channels will go away, but don't get deleted. They just get hidden for preservation purposes. Hi. What the hell are you doing? Uh, monologuing. Are you showing everybody what's behind the curtain? Mm, a little bit. I also talked about the Oscars for like twenty minutes. So. Oh, I I I got the end of the Oscar, the end of the Oscars. <clears throat> no. So, All right. So, were you having fun with Ami? Is this no, no? <laughs> it's not fun at all. <laughs> Just sitting alone with my darkest thoughts about <laughs> Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> well, it's it's all gonna stay in. So I'm not going to take any of it out when I go to hear it. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, uh, I know we were talking about whatever, but it's gone. It's it's finished. I, I, I got over my anger that I had. Uh, but but screw everybody else that's picking up their kid. They're all jerks. Uh, that's that. Thank you, Trees. Now, yeah. now I have to. Uh, I have to open up everything again because i accidentally closed everything <laughs> I was should i stop you now i was picking up my computer and i accidentally pressed the x on the touch screen so i should not <clears throat> stop you now what do you mean stop me now that's a call back to my 20 minute monologue the listeners will get it like <laughs> he oh, did okay. the thing sorry <laughs> oh, it's clever. Almost as I, clever as having Mike Myers in uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I I can't believe that uh that you're you're doing inside jokes with yourself and the listeners. <laughs> and like I'm a sad man, Lowe's. 
no, it's it's like it's a certain level of of I guess genius, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> opposite end of that spectrum, <laughs> a certain, <laughs> certain level of dumb. <laughs> All right, let, let's let's get with the voicemail. Let's let's see. We still got yeah. we still got five left, and then we can oh, continue geez. these these thoughts. <laughs> well, this one's five seconds, so let's see. Yeah, that's why it's five seconds. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. We got four voicemails left. Controversial, <laughs> but hey, we don't screen them. All right, let's see. Yeah, we don't. I I don't like screening. I like the surprise. No? All right. All right. Let's see. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Lucas Ham Swisher giving you another call because I have completed another game. I uh, played the wonderful adventure game. That's also a very easy platinum. The Little Adventure on the Prairie or Little Adventure on the Prairie. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes to complete it. Get the platinum, play through it. It's about 12 stages of a hack and slash side scrolling kind of deal. Um, I think I gave it two out of five swords. Uh, it's really not that great. It's like baby's first platformer, brawler, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very cheaply made. It's really just an excuse to get trophies. And as I'm unashamedly able to say, I love trophies. So any chance to get a platinum for cheap, I am down with that. So that's my second game that I've completed on the um, pile of shame extravaganza. It's a pleasure to have fun with you guys and do this. And uh, I hope you and all the crazy monkeys out there have a great week and a great day. Ciao. All right. So uh, I don't know if you, I, I fix up the, the review that he did for this. <clears throat> I uh, put it all together for him and everything. Uh, you know, the way, the way it works with these reviews, uh, you just type it up and, and give me some pictures and I throw it up on the blog for you. So I was reading it and I was looking up this game and it looks freaking horrendous. Like it's, <laughs> it, I, I don't know how he does it. Like he, his love for plat, for, for trophies, it's, it surpasses anything that I've known before. And, and I don't know, I, it's, it's, it's a mystery how, how it works. Like why, how games like this are even sold, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he got, he got the platinum trophy for it. For it so, so that's something that's, uh, that's another one for his, Man, for his list. I don't know how you can stick out that kind of game. I'd rather just not play a game. <laughs> well, yeah, I is. think he, he, he like, like, I think this is feeding, scratching that same kind of itch as getting all those platinums. Like, Mm-hmm. Having the contest for him, so a yeah. contest in which he can get more platinums, <laughs> and also be in a contest. Yeah, yeah, we, we might we really... have just unraveled him. <laughs> like this is it. <laughs> this this is the heroine. Well, well, you know he he was already doing this. Like I follow him on Twitter before before you know he joined this and everything because I think it was uh. It was Delvin Cox. He, he got us introduced because, yeah, <laughs> because me, me and Lucas, I I we, him. we do share the, uh, the socks and sandals thing. So mm-hmm. we were, we were going back and forth on how similar we were on, on that kind of stuff. And, uh, so I've been following him for a bit and, and this is like his new year's resolution. Like his thing was he wasn't going to be buying. Any new games this year? He was just going to focus on oh. playing all the games that he has already. So that's why he's going through this so quick because that's what he was already doing. You know, he's, he's, he's gaming our system, basically. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's a shoe in for, for what we're doing. And that's, that's he, fine. Ah, you know. oh, he, he's maximizing. Yeah. That's. <clears throat> But uh, but yeah, he's well. We're after the voicemails. We'll get more into the uh to the pile of shame and get into that. But but uh, oh, see, I just I, I just shot him a follow. I've seen him in so many conversations that I assumed I was following him. I was uh, not. There you go. Mistake corrected. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you for the voicemail. Uh, 
and here we go with number number I don't know we have three left this is number whatever let's see what up future monkeys it's Fred Rojas calling you and I just got done with 107 and uh, congrats to Scary for joining the, the, the group for that episode it's always great to hear her um, but I had to call in right away, and this might be a two-parter, so I might be back, but uh, I had to call in right away regarding Beardy's story because, look, I don't know if I'm just off the cuff or what, but I just don't care that much about samples. And in your particular case, dropping a semen sample after uh, getting a vasectomy, I did that, you know, granted, I did it probably mm, eight years ago, but... Uh, at mine, they wanted the sample there. So you just went in there. They handed you a cup. They didn't even have a room for you. They were just like, you got to make this happen. You know what I mean? And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, I just found a lockable room in the office plaza, and that was that. And the girl didn't think two things of it. She, in fact, come to think of it, first of all, it wasn't in a baggie. I just had, like, the cup. And I don't even know if she put on gloves. I think she just took a visual look at it to make sure there wasn't anything on the outside and just took it with her. But, uh, but yeah, uh, although, you know, I just want to say as somebody who works in a lab, uh, you know, use gloves at all times. That girl never should have done that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It was just a weird thing. Like, I didn't have any problems just, uh, preparing a sample for her. I wasn't embarrassed just walking around with it, you know. Luckily, I didn't slip and fall or anything, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Um, the other thing I want to point out was that you lose whatever that is that makes you worry about that stuff. Um, I think when you work in a lab for a long time, specifically, uh, I do the billing stuff, but I'm always in there among the specimen collects group, and uh, I just specifically remember um, this one day where a, uh, a co-worker of mine uh, we had this girl start up in specimen receiving, and she was really attractive and, of course, super nice and super bubbly. And um, he had to turn in a sample because, you know, when you have turned samples like that, usually the doctor doesn't handle it. You just drop them off at the lab. So he knew that. So he had to turn in a stool sample uh, for some GI problems he was having, and he had to go turn it in. And, of course, he walked in there to just turn in the sample. And who walked up to him but this bubbly girl? And he just – Full smile. Now, granted, this was a very different situation than the one I just described at the uh, urologist's office. This was, uh, you know, he had it in a full specimen bag, biohazard bag, <laughs> properly packaged, and uh, and uh, he was wearing gloves and she was wearing gloves. But, yeah, and he just had to hand that over to her. And uh, multiple people in the lab, microbiology, everybody had to handle that. All right, next, next, he, he he calls back. Let's keep it going. On edge right now. Anyway, this is Fred. Sorry, I got a little low there, embellishing the story a bit too much, so I'll make this quick. But uh, long story short, whenever you work in a lab and turn in a sample there, everybody knows. Everybody knows that you've dropped it off. Everybody remembers. But after a while, it becomes so commonplace, you don't even think twice about it. I, I wouldn't care uh, anymore. Um, the other thing I just wanted to say real quick was you guys were dogging on movies. Scary the only one's backing it up with Silent Hill. And I think you guys put things under way too high a scrutiny. All that said, Lois, I'm sorry. Prince of Persia is not a good movie. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> not a good movie. But to a certain extent, whether it be from fascination of what they do at the franchise or uh, or uh, just the, the loveliness of a B film, like, come on, Street Fighter the movie is in wonderfully terrible uh, in its own regard. Um, Super Mario Brothers actually is, uh, imagine Super Mario Brothers in a cyberpunk future, and I actually think the concept is pretty awesome. The movie has some flaws, but all things considered, it's no worse than like RoboCop 2, which we all know is a gem. Um, and then Mortal Kombat. I'm sorry, if you told me I was going to adapt Mortal Kombat, I would have expected to get exactly what I got with maybe an R rating and a little more blood. I gotta tell you, I thought Mortal Kombat was spot on. Um, but, uh, but Scary hit the nail on the head. If you want something that is both a combination of a decent film and a good 
proper use of the license, Silent Hill, hands down, best video game movies of all time. And I'll close with this. Fun fact, Postal, a Uwe Boll movie. Postal is actually very appropriate for only one criteria, which is that Uwe Boll made a movie that was as batshit insane and stupid as the original property it was backing. So it wasn't because he made a good movie. It was just because the property he was backing was just so him. Anyway, love the show. Hope you guys have a good one. With fluids and bad movies in tail, this is Fred Rojas saying peace out. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's amazing. Holy crap. Freaking, like, where where in the hell was he dropping that off? Where? The, oh, man, I don't know. Oh, just Here's take, my poo-poo. <laughs> <laughs> taking the cup with no gloves. Jesus. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not apologizing for liking Prince of Persia. I'm not. No, you don't. Have, and, and and that's part of it too. Uh, there are not very many good video game movies, <laughs> no. uh, if at all. Any, uh, if, aside from the four mentioned, but are they watchable, entertaining? Like, if it's on on a Saturday, and wife is out with the kids and it comes on cable, you're on the couch. Are you changing the channel? <laughs> Hell no. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, if anything, you're just going to go get some of that good popcorn. <laughs> yes. You're, you're hunkering in. <laughs> like, afternoon is set. Mm-hmm. Word. With that right. said, everybody needs to go watch Prince of Persia. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <clears throat> Next voice, bro. All right, here we go. One more. Let's see who it is. So, uh... But, yeah. <laughs> Let's try this again. Nope. It's not. Or marginalized. Oh, wait. Just to be clear. Wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's confusing me because there is a transcript. There's a whole transcript, but nothing's playing. So I'm trying to find it. I know it's there, but it just I don't know where. But here, I think I found it. Just to be clear, Marvel mutants. Uh, so we're talking X Men. Uh, some people would argue that Spider Man is a mutant, but uh, what are your feelings on them? Um, misunderstood, marginalized minority, uh, sometimes visible, or um, menace, menace like Magneto menace. Um, I mean, they are the organization that created the Brotherhood of Evil <laughs> mutants. So. I don't know. I don't know. They've got this whole, they've got this whole, uh, community that lives up in the North Pole, which is actually a jungle. Uh, it's a long story figured out. They, they lived on an asteroid for a while. They had <laughs> a little bit of a time in hell. That's like, uh, recent comics. If, if you're following that, it is strange. Um, but yeah, what do, what do you think of them? Do you have a favorite one? I'm partial to teleporters and guys who can turn their so- their skin to steel, but I'm also partial to people who can warp reality. Uh, check out Legion. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so just tell me, what's your favorite mutant? Because I've got a few. Um, yeah, also they were the original reason for the Civil War in the comics. Check out. All right. Um, yeah, that's really all I got. Uh, not as funny today. I just wanted your opinion. And, uh, yeah, I'm still in the basement. I haven't found script yet. He's hidden good. <laughs> but I'll find you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> there you go. Just Jason strip around, mm-hmm. banging on the walls. <laughs> so, <laughs> mutants. Favorite mutant? I I I got one. Do you have one? I got one. Yeah. Ah. So who's yours? Better not be mine. Well, my go-to default, like. Who's your favorite X-Men? I'm like, all right, that's an aggressive question, but uh, I will answer it. Usually, default is Wolverine. Mm-hmm. It seems like I, I just like the healing ability, whatever, gruff guy. Uh, but if I actually think about it for a little bit longer, I love Colossus. The same with like, uh, like Chase mentioned it, turning mm-hmm. the, the skin the steel, yep. uh, and like even in any video game that Colossus has been in, I always default to Colossus. Like. I usually roll more defense in like video games anyway. Mm-hmm. 
so yeah, the idea of having like invulnerability is what I go to. Like super healing factor. Uh, uh like if you're giving me the option of bigger life bar or greater attack strength, I always go bigger life bar. Yeah. So that's why I, that's where I kind of default where my head is at. So like having Colossus just be like like so happy to see him in Deadpool. Like yeah, like ah, oh, he's finally <laughs> getting it. You get yours, Colossus. You see, for for me, when I was when I was growing up, I wasn't really crazy into into Marvel and comics and all that stuff. I only knew like very very little. So whenever it came up, like you know, hey, who's your favorite? You know, uh, it was always Gambit. That's a good one. Uh, Gambit. Gambit was always, you know, one that stood out because I really, I just really thought he was like a cool character. You know, I didn't know much about him because I never followed and I was just trying to be like the cool kids and, (laughs) and know, know all the superheroes and all that. But, you know, I, I really liked Gambit as, as a character, like his aesthetics and all that stuff. And, and, uh, and that was, you know, purely for, for like, you know, appearance purposes and like the way he, the way he, you know, moved around and all that stuff. I, I, I dug him, uh, got older watching movies and everything like that. Uh, even, even today, uh, X-Men is not my, my strong suit. I, I'm, I love Marvel. Marvel's my, my jam, but, uh, but the X-Men, uh, I'm not really, really too versed in. But I can say that Nightcrawler would be my my favorite. Uh, he mm. he really complex character. Yeah, you know it's that's that's what it is. <laughs> I remember when uh, when the movies came out. Uh, I I remember watching, uh, and I just got so mesmerized with with what was going on with him in in X Men Two X Two. Yeah. So that whole scene with like the music yeah. going on, like, Oh, that's, exactly. Yeah. That's good. Yep. And you know what? Uh, the kids, uh, I just watched X-Men, the first one with the kids. And, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into part two, just to, to get into Nightcrawler again. And it was, it was to the point that I, that I was loving Nightcrawler so much that, uh, that I, I remember, uh, looking up like fan sites dedicated <laughs> to Nightcrawler, and this is like the AOL days, you know. So you could only imagine the crazy ass freaking like '90s style websites that you could find, like all this different clip art all over the place, flashing, blinking of Nightcrawler, you know, just like really low, low stuff, but. But, uh, but how much I, weird nightcrawler porn did you see? Uh, just one or two. There wasn't a <laughs> lot, you know, it's, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was just like, you know, the way he is, the way, uh, the way he carries himself, the, his faith that he had, you know, and, you know, just how conflicted he was and how, you know, it was, it was a good character for me and especially at the time. So. So there, there, there will be my answer. And he, he has a new comic out. There's a new comic I noticed. I want to pick that up. I want to see what hmm. that is. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, Jagush, Jagush in the uh, in the Discord. We have a comics ch- channel in the Discord, and and uh, Jagush is always getting me all pumped up and getting me all interested. I actually bought a few. I know I posted it somewhere. I forgot where, but but uh, but yeah, I'm. Getting, dipping my toe into comics more and more, you know, trying to catch up. But, uh, that's it. Uh, he also, uh, we had, so to wrap up the community section right. of this. So again, always thank you all for the voicemails. Mm-hmm. Very much appreciated. Always love to hear from you. Uh, we had a, a comment from, uh, Jagush also oh, yeah. asking, uh, games we're looking forward to in March. That can be wrapped up for me probably within the first week, which is going to be Devil May Cry and Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, 
Devil May Cry. That's right. Sleeper. Uh, that's Jeez. the interested in Toe Dam and Earl I'm going to buy regardless. I yeah. mean, I'll wait for Fred's review tomorrow at nine. <laughs> Let's see what <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> unless he tanks it, then I'm I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, well, and then, we'll we'll link that in the in the show notes for anybody interested. Yeah, that's yeah, the little thing. And that then Strip asks us to talk about the, the uh, primary factors that led to the fall of the Western Roman Empire, or have a contest to see who can burp more of the alphabet. Which <laughs> of I uh, googled <laughs> the primary factors <laughs> the fall <laughs> of the Roman Empire. And it just gave me instant PTSD from being a history major. Mm. So I would just say, A. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as I go. I don't want people to have burping in their ears. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm looking, I'm looking at March right now, and it's pretty freaking crazy. It's, uh, uh, we got, Dead or Alive Six for the fans of that. I know that that has a a pretty pretty uh good following. I think a pretty quiet following. I don't know. A dedicated uh, following. Dedicated. There you go. That's the word. There's a reason why this right. is the sixth one. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, Devil May Cry had no idea it was coming out like the first week of March. That's awesome. Uh, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. I think that's 3ds. Mm-hmm. Uh. Lego uh, Marvel collection. That's like three or four Lego movies all packaged together. But uh, if you've been playing them, you've been playing them already. I mean, you played them all, I'm sure. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Division two. What what else did I see here? Uh, MLB The Show 19, Yoshi's Crafted World uh, on the Switch, I think. Uh, along with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. For, for those. I know we were talking about that with Fred in uh in the uh the Discord too. But uh but yeah, Division Two stands out for me and that's that's the one that I would have been excited for, but I actually canceled my my pre order for it today because because I'm I'm very excited to keep on playing Anthem and Anthem I guess this is gonna lead us into our talk. Anthem talk. Yeah. I think I think that's a good way to do it. I mean, we we got the the pile of shame stuff to talk about, but we could we could end this show with all that stuff. Uh <clears throat> so uh so yeah, Anthem Anthem made me cancel my Division Two pre order. I still wanna pick up the Division Two. Uh most definitely. I I played a little bit uh of the beta and and it looks great, feels great. <clears throat> and I really like the first division. Uh, but you know, I fell off it pretty quick because of the whole bullet sponge thing and everything, but it seems like they're, they're fixing a lot of stuff and, and it's looking like it's going to be a really awesome game. And I'm, I'm just going to pick up a different time later time. Uh, I got Anthem here. I want to play it some more. I want to get into it, uh, at the pace that I'm going, I'll probably still be playing it by the time the division comes out. Uh, you know, there's. There's a there's a lot of good hype for Division Two, and I hope it does good because I'm I'm hoping for it to be to be a good game to play and to get into. But uh, but Anthem Anthem got me right now, and uh, and I'm excited to play it more whenever I can play it. Uh, it's just it's just an awesome feeling game, and I I've noticed I've been off Twitter for a few days, like it's on and off kind of thing. Uh, but I do, I did notice, uh, Captain Mike and, and Matt, they were talking about, uh, how they're, they're fed up. And, uh, also Retro Rents Al, uh, he, he was, uh, was fed up to, with a lot of bugs that they come, that they're coming up with. Uh, they keep getting kicked out or, or something's going on that they're, they're complaining a lot. And I don't know, I'm not playing as much. As, as them, I'm sure. So I'm not seeing all the stuff, but, uh, I think Bioware is doing good with, uh, communicating and trying to iron out stuff. You know, it's the first week or two. So, so it's still there. So, um, so Beardy, what is it? Uh, where, where have you been with, with Anthem? We haven't played together yet. Uh, we, nope. we still, we still need to, we still got to get in there, 
Uh, Do we? How far? Because I hear you have you have other friends that you're playing with. That... <laughs> Listen, that was one night, okay? <laughs> one night, and I I called you. I wanted you to be there, and you you were busy. You you couldn't show up, so I was like, okay. no. Wh- you sent me a text asking if I was playing, not if I wanted to play. Oh man. Do we that, see what the difference is here? That that wasn't that wasn't an open invitation. That wasn't a that wasn't a hey. Yeah, that was that was basically me like booty calling you like hey, what's up? Yeah, that that you was know? your you up text. Yeah, and I said, exactly. Well, I'm planning on going to bed early tonight. And Oof. like uh at that point I'd like to be chased just a little bit like oh, come on, okay. come on boy. All like, right. See, come on. Little, now, little, now I know. Pop, pop I, in the anthem. I, <laughs> I just pop I, it in. I don't know. I don't know these. I don't know the the way to to get into Beardy's uh, digital pants. Just the disc. You know? I don't. <laughs> just the. T- just the disc. No DLC, baby. <laughs> just the disc. <laughs> All right. Yep. That that's the show title. There you go. <laughs> you, you won. You beat Joe. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, no. Uh, we, I, I'm sorry. We do I feel, need to play. Uh, wh- what level are you? I I'm l- I, the the end of level seven, so I'm almost level eight. Okay, so we're like pretty much exactly the same. All right, because I'm very excited to try <clears throat> a new javelin. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm so still, I'm still on wh- my f- on my first. Well, where did you go? What which one did you pick? I picked the storm. Okay. Which is kind of like the, I, I'm trying to think, it's, it's kind of like the, if you played Mass Effect, it's the biotic. Mm-hmm. From what I can tell, it, it's got more supernatural uh, powers to it, which is normally not my thing, not my go-to. Like, you know what, let me go against type. Let me try, because typically I would pick the Colossus. Again, yeah. like, I, let's see what I'm saying. The Colossus and Colossus. <laughs> it's all the thing. All defense, big hulking, like, that's what I gravitate towards. Like, let me try something else for once. And I'm really liking it. Like, one of the cool things you can do is uh, with this javelin, uh, you get more of a, a boost to your armor if you are hovering and you can hover longer than the other javelins. Mm-hmm. So I just kind of boost up and then float above. And then I usually get like a marksman rifle. <laughs> and so it's just like, it's so funny to me. Just blasting people away as like the super powerful, like calling in lightning and just making it rain, pain and thunder. Then also pulling out a gun. <laughs> like it's like you you have lightning powers. Why do you need a gun? <laughs> it's so dumb, but I love it. I love it. I'm having such a good time with this game. Yep, like, I'm the, not, I'm the, the story you. makes no sense. <laughs> No sense. <laughs> it has a very like Pacific Rim kind of feel to it, right? Mm. The- yeah, I I think I mean I didn't watch Pacific Rim, but I know what it's about. I know. Okay, yeah, it's just like it the bigger kaiju, the bigger monsters oh, yeah. coming out. Like this is the time. Like oh, here's a, this thing. Is only difference is it's bigger, and then they <laughs> go out and they get their asses handed to them by like some titans or kaiju, whatever it is. <laughs> like the story makes no sense, but again, I'm a biotic Iron Man <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. I love it. You see the the storm. I that's that was like like all the way leading up to probably like five minutes before I actually picked. <laughs> my my javelin i wanted the storm like all like for since since the beginning like when i started thinking about it, when you made me pre-order the damn game that's like when i was you're welcome up. yeah yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> like when i was when i was there i was like damn the storm that's that's what i'm gonna be that's that's it and and it's such an awesome freaking character like uh, my the the kid he sebastian he's He's playing too, and he's playing as a storm. And I see what he's able to do. I'm like, mother, f- <laughs> this looks so damn cool. 
That's the friend. Like he, he's like, look, you see those guys? You see those guys? Boom, lightning. And I'm like, Oh, I'm trying not to get too excited. Cause you know, I'm like, I'm like yeah. trying to be like, okay, my, my Colossus. Cause yeah, you know, my, I picked the Colossus and I'm not, I'm not regretting it. You know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm totally into, into the Colossus right now. Cause it's, uh, it's, it's my play style. It's like the way, the way that I like to play and the way that I like to play is just like, like an idiot run all up in people mm-hmm. and, and get shot. And, you know, usually when I was playing destiny, uh, everybody in the community that I played with, you know, here, I mean, this community, it, it everybody, like they were always picking up my slack. Like I was always getting shot down or whatever, because I always just run and gun jumping in there. Like, Oh, the bad guys are there. I'm going, you know, like I'm Leroy Jenkins. (laughs) Damn it. Leroy. Yeah. So, so that's, that was me. I was doing that. So the, the Colossus that he, he helps me out, you know, cause he's like a freaking tank and it's, it's like, it's just freaking raw power going on Mm -hmm. and and it's awesome and i know once he gets leveled up you know it's like it's gonna be a freaking beast it's forget about it and when when i played with uh when i played with mike and matt from from bat fada figures uh they they were i forgot what they were uh i want to say they were both rangers maybe uh so so when I was in there and I was doing the thing with the my Colossus and everything, it was like everybody's shooting their guns, pew, 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 pew. and this freaking guy comes out and I like I do the the special, I like the big freaking crazy ass explosion. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh man, leveled everybody. It was so awesome. It's like yeah, that that was me. Sorry. It's it's like you just you get the Iron Man feel you know that's just it so <laughs> uh do you like iron man yeah uh do you like really good tight shooting yeah <laughs> what if you gave iron man a gun seems <laughs> unnecessary but i'm listening <laughs> that is this game <laughs> give iron man a handgun just just for giggles oh man yeah so so yeah, we're 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 having fun with Anthem. I think it's pretty yeah. clear. Uh oh, and we're, so we're still early on. So And we're we're going to play together yeah. possibly on Friday? Maybe lunch lunch maybe, date? Maybe, maybe. We'll we'll see. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. That means no <laughs> in love. Um but if we were to play together, we could talk to each other on a new headset yeah, right yeah we can oh man it's so nice it's like it's like a javelin for my ears <laughs> <laughs> what kind of javelin is it a ranger is it a, no is it a it's a, it, i i would say it's a interceptor probably yeah it's <laughs> it's nice and sleek and and very uh very sexy and it's and uh and yeah it's uh hold on what what oh, I have to hold on am I, hold, am I supposed to hold on no okay okay <laughs> what what's yeah. the the brand the <laughs> what, what's it do the features give all me right. the deets all right real quick because it looks like we're gonna have to wrap this up pretty quick yeah <clears throat> so uh I picked up the uh, Steel series. That is the name, and is the Arctis Three Bluetooth headset. Uh, I got the unboxing. I just posted it up, and by the time this comes out, there should be a post for it in in on the site. So it's going to be in the show notes and all that stuff. Uh, so basically, uh, I you know I bought a headset for when. Me and you, Beardy, were playing Sea of Thieves. And, you know, we f- I figured we needed a headset to talk because the gold set headset was not working. It wasn't doing good. And, and we needed something for the Xbox. So I bought like a $16 <laughs> uh, 
headset from Amazon. And I bought the same one. And you bought one. And and yeah, it turns out it's terrible. Uh it's <laughs> Who could have saw this coming? So so Anthem Anthem, uh, much like Sea of Thieves, had me looking for a headset. And and of course, like the idiot that I am, I tried going to Amazon. I was like, oh, maybe I could look for a twenty dollar headset this time. Uh, maybe it'd be better. And, and, and then I saw some video, like, you know, it was this guy, he was rounding up all like six or seven of the like twenty thirty dollar headsets that Amazon has. And like, just the general consensus was they're all terrible. <laughs> they're all, <laughs> they're all this like different variations of bad. And, and I was like, okay, I, I came to the realization if I want a good headset that's going to freaking work, you, you, you got to pay for it. You got to pay for something. So I had, uh, I had some, uh, rewards from GameStop and I was doing research going around and those one headset that I found that I was like, okay, this is the one. Turns out it was on sale at GameStop. So, so it was like it all, it all lined up. And, and that's what this one is basically. So it's, it works for PS4, Xbox, the Switch. Uh, it has Bluetooth connectivity. It, to, to connect with the games, you do it through the wire, the 3.5 jack. Mm-hmm. So you, you, that's how you hear the game, uh, the game sounds. And that's how you chat. Uh, but for, for the Switch, it says it's the number one headset for the Switch because, uh, you are, you are able to connect to the game audio through the headphone jack. But, uh, but you could connect Bluetooth to your phone in order to listen to, uh, to the chatting on the Nintendo app. Oh. So. So it's, it's using the two forms at the same time and you are only using one cord, you know, to, to the system. It's giving that complicated squid, yeah, whatever. E- exactly. Exactly. Oh, so, okay. so, uh, you know, in the same, in the same theory, you could be playing a game while listening via Bluetooth on your phone to like a podcast or music or whatever like that. So. So it's, you know, very versatile, uh, you know, headset. And and that's cool, too, because I know, like, you know, they all have the built-in apps for, like, Spotify on mm-hmm. the PS4 and the Xbox. But, it, like, it's a lot easier just to control it from your phone. Yeah. Like, even, like, we're, like, the PS4, you can still control it, like, with your phone. It's a lot easier than, to do that than, like, exit. Go mm-hmm. into the, you know, exit the game you're playing, go into the Spotify app, change the song, fast forward, then go back to the game, log back. Like, if you just have it on your phone, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. Now, so does the headset do game audio and chat audio, or? Mm, I don't think so. I think there's only a volume, uh, one volume slider, uh, wheel, you know, to go up and down. Uh, mm-hmm. there's a, there's a mute obviously uh but i there is no independent audio for for that but but uh i was in the xbox settings when i was playing with it today i when i hooked Mm -hmm. it up and and that's in there uh you know to to favor more game audio or to favor more chat audio so it's built into the systems uh so it's it's not as easy as a dial to turn like on the on the gold headset but uh but you know it's it's one of those things where where you I had the gold for the gold headsets for a long time never had a problem never had an issue right i put these things on and it's like whoa like gold headset what who what 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 was i doing before you know it's it it just feels like so uh so premium you know like it just feel like the feel of it is amazing like it feels like you don't have anything on your head and it's so soft and cushiony and you know it's just like the way the way it looks and the way it works the sound 
the sound is pretty good. It's like, it, it really, it took me by surprise because I was, I had, uh, I was in Fort Terrace, right? And, mm-hmm. and, you know, you hear the sounds of, of the talking or whatever like that. You're walking around. There's not much going on. So I had the volume up all the way like a dick. And, <laughs> and, you know, I load into free play, right? So the volume's up. I don't notice anything, you know, because nothing's going on. All of a sudden, you know, when you load into free play, the first thing that happens is your javelin crashes down to the floor. (laughs) It scared the shit out of me. Like I had both earmuffs on and it just like, holy shit. Like my, my head vibrated. (laughs) <laughs> and and I wasn't ready for it. And plus with the Colossus, there's like a force that goes on behind it, you know? And it was <clears throat> it was it was an awesome an awesome thing despite it hurting my ears. But now does this thing need to be charged or it, no. is it just No. The, no. Oh, it's, it's wired. So you're not Boom. charging anything. But the Bluetooth capability needs to be charged. Wow. If you're using Very it for Bluetooth, expensive. that's when it needs to be charged. Okay. But uh, you know, like I said, I got this for for eighty bucks. The regular price is a hundred. Uh they have another set exactly like it without the Bluetooth capability. And that set right now is fifty dollars. Uh and the regular price is seventy. And this sale at GameStop where they're taking off 20 bucks. It goes until March 5th. So if you're interested, uh, I'll put the links for, for the headset and everything. And, and the, all the info is going to be in the blog post that's in the blog right now. So go check that out and, and you'll see, you'll see how it looks. You'll see all that stuff. And, and it's, it like, if you're looking for a headset, go for it. You know, <laughs> cause the price the price is there and the quality is like crazy there. So I, I'm, I am there yeah. as long as the chat audio is better than yes. the, the yeah, goal. We, we gotta, we gotta check it out and see how it works. We, we should probably do that either like tomorrow night or Friday. Cause yeah. if we can do it during the day on Friday, like just while I'm working, whatever, just, you know, taking a phone call, mm-hmm. you know, it, I can still work and talk to someone at the same time. <laughs> So like, hey, let's test this out, fire it up, and then I can, I'll run out of my lunch then and go buy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Worst case, that's that's what we'll do. Like that's come Friday. Yeah, at least check the audio. <clears throat> yep, sounds like a plan. All right, cool. so so that's that's my that's my new toy, and you know it's one of those things like you know you have enough money to to get stuff, and you know that was I I was lucky enough to have that you know. To have that fall into my lap, basically, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where I could have gotten Division Two, but I know I don't really need a new game right now because because I got plenty to play. But these are gonna help me play those games that I have already. So mm-hmm. so you know, it's a it's a nice little nice little toy that I'm looking forward to playing with. <clears throat> but uh but yeah, is there uh, we're we're gonna have to cut it short because the wife is getting crazy amounts of calls tonight, which is out of the norm. Okay. And the kid keeps waking up, so uh we're gonna have to cut it down. Let me see, what do we miss? <clears throat> missed a few things. Air fryer. Yeah, air fryer. Uh me almost burning down the neighborhood. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, don't don't call Beardy on his phone. That's <laughs> That's What was uh, I supposed to do? You're all the way in Florida. You're like uh, there's you, flames everywhere. I'm like, I don't know what to do, man. Hose it you, down. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I felt so alone. Like I didn't know I didn't know what to do, so I called Beardy and Beardy's just like like obviously not wanting to talk to me. Like I was... had people. Okay, here's the thing. 
I get a call from you. I'm like, oh, he doesn't really call me ever except for butt dials, whatever. So I'm in the kitchen. I had people over. I'm like, yeah, it, probably just a mistake. And then it calls again. I'm like, oh, no, something <laughs> must be up. And I hear, like, it, so then you tell your perspective. I, well, you, all right. I, I had gotten the, uh, the chimney thing, right? The, uh, for the, the smoker. The, yeah. For the, for the barbecue, for the thing. Yeah. Got the, the charcoal <clears throat> chimney. Charcoal. Yeah. So I got that. And, uh, first time using it and it was nighttime and, and, uh, making dinner and it was pretty windy. So I didn't think about that when I lit it. <laughs> and it turns out it works great. Like it is, <laughs> it did its job like superbly and <laughs> flames everywhere. <laughs> coming out of this thing like I just opened a gate of hell on my barbecue grill <laughs> and <laughs> and it was it would have been fine would have been no problems but the wind was kicking up the ash and the coals and everything and it was blowing it onto the grass into the neighbor's yard <laughs> so it's like imagine the promo video of every God of War movie ever <laughs> <laughs> like all the ash that's what's going on in yeah, Los's yard exactly so i'm running around i run to my hose my hose is hooked up but the fucking spigot broke the day before so i had to run back into the garage <laughs> to grab a pair of pliers to turn on the hose and i'm there like with the hose in front of the fire and i'm like waiting for it to explode and and i'm like spraying I'm spraying my grass just in case and freaking <clears throat> watch my call. It. It's just getting worse and worse. So I don't know what to do. And I, I fucking, I call beardy I'm like beardy and you like so annoyed. So over it, like, I don't want to talk to you Los. you know, basically that's what I got. And, that is not what you and, got. <laughs> you got a man who did not see video. So you're giving me a visual scenario. Like, yeah, there's a lot of flames everywhere. Like, I don't know, like, have you ever used one of these? Like, I have not used charcoal chimney. He's like, is that normal that all the flames are? I'm like, I, I don't know, bud. And he's like, oh, well, uh, should, should I spray it? I'm like, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe you should. Um, uh, I, I don't know what my involvement in this is now. Am I now culpable? I'm going to be part of a crime. I'm now an accessory to you lighting your neighborhood on fire. <laughs> like, I, you... You should probably call someone who has, you know, firefighting experience, such as a, a firefighter, not not Beardy, who's never fought a fighter, never fought anyone, let alone the elements. I, I've never fought a person, let alone God and nature. And you're, that's the advice you're asking me for at that, at that juncture. So what you heard is over it was just befuddled. Well, all right. Either either way, either way, I I wound up. Uh, uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Don't stop me having a good time. Don't stop me having a good time. I don't even know what. The, okay, let me look up those lyrics. I could not. I, if you okay, if someone sent you the lyrics to having a good time and asked you what song it was, it would probably okay. Well, it is in the first line. Fine, I get it. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive in the world. I'll turn it inside out, yeah. And floating around in ecstasy. Don't stop me now, don't stop me. Cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. I'm a shooting star, leaping through the sky, like a tiger to find the laws of gravity. Like a tiger. Oh, so specifically a tiger defying the laws of gravity. Not why a tiger? Well, you can't defy the gravity is a human. Bizarre. Okay. Like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. I'm race. I'm a racing car passing by like Lady Godiva. I'm going to go, go, go. There's no stopping me. 
I'm burning through the sky. Yeah, 200 degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. <laughs> I'm traveling at the speed of light. Okay, let's break that down. Uh, I'm burning through the sky. Yeah, 200 degrees. So we have a temperature gauge. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Okay, temperature, still temperature. I'm traveling at the speed of light. Okay, so that that's a different thing. I'm not a man of science, uh, but I know those two things are different. You know, if you're going for Calvin's degrees or if you're going for Fahrenheit, you know, temperature and uh, the idea of light speed, uh, two different scales. It's like Han Solo saying he made the Kessel run in 12 parsecs. And that, that's a unit of, of distance, not not speed. Uh, I, I want to make a supersonic man out of you. So then you're going, so not only a speed of light, but then you're going to supersonic man. So you're, you're then supersonic, I believe it's sound. So you're going for sound, temperature, and light. Hmm. Not making a lot of sense here, Freddy. All right. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. That makes the most sense of anything I've read thus far. Hey, want to have a good time? Give me a ring. A ring-a-ding. Oh, speaking of rings, uh, we have something from Los here. Oh, boy. All right. He's telling me to wrap it up, so you uh, wait till next week to hear me reciting more of Don't Stop Me Now from Queen. So Lo says he's sorry. We had more stuff to discuss, but life gets in the way. Uh, say pile of shame stuff is in the show notes. Pile of shame stuff is in the show notes. Uh, it's also on our Discord. Get there. Get yourself a Discord. Uh, that way we can go ahead and if you want, if you want to try to take on Lucas, good luck. Uh, that, that, that's the, the man to beat right now. So, gonna do the outro thing here. Uh, Lo says he's sorry. If you need us between shows, find us on Twitter at future underscore monkeys. And just like your grandma, we have our own Discord you can join. You can find the link to it in our Twitter profile. If for some bizarre reason you'd like to email us, you can do so at futuremonkeyscast at gmail.com. And of course, you can call us, say hi, or contribute to a topic on our hotline at 407-906-EZFM, 407-906-3936. Toodle pip and toodle pip los. This is a message from me to you from the past because I'm going to hang up. I'm going to go to bed. It's late. Don't stop me having a good time. Don't stop me having a good time. Uh, Do I just hang up? Or... Let me text him. Let's see. I'm done, I think. Do I just hang up? Question mark. Let's see if there's a GIF I could send him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Mm. He said that's fine. Okay. Hanging up for real.